Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's about five feet. That's the good news. Bad news is I just created this huge divot. So what do I do? How do I fix my divot properly? Well, if you're from up north, you're always told, okay, you got to come out, grab your divot, bring it back to the hole, and replace it. Down here in South Florida, that's a big no-no. And it's all because of the different types of grasses that are down here. Now, what you're going to do instead is head over to your cart, grab the sand container, bring it over to the divot, and fill it up all the way to the top. When you're done, pat it down with your foot, which creates a nice foundation for the grass to grow through and replace itself. So it's very important that you guys fill the divots up to the top and pat it down. What I often see is somebody will come over to a divot and just sprinkle in a little bit of a little bit of sand. That's no good. That obviously the grass will grow back eventually, but do you see how this crater is still not filled in? So when it does, it's going to create an uneven part of the fairway. So if your ball ever lands in it, it's not going to be a good lie. So always remember to fill that baby all the way up to the top. Pat it down and you're on your way. You can even take the time, if you find some other divots that weren't filled properly, fill them yourself, pat them down. It takes an extra five seconds. Sometimes the sand gets a little stuck, so you gotta shake it out. Pat it down and you're on your way. It's very good etiquette and it's very good for the golf course.